you might hear be hearing the laundry in the back and the beep 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 because it's finished but anyway today well, right now i'm gonna be making cauliflower um broccoli fried rice but i'm gonna make it with ground meat like ground beef or whatever but this one is bison mm, never had it before you know i have um i feel like in my next life i live in i live off the grid and i have cattle and chicken and all that type of stuff so i always like to try like i always wanted to try like wild game and stuff like that so anywho i'm gonna try this today i'm sure it's gonna be super good um cauliflower fried rice this one is mixed with broccoli and i just made it for daddy so it's gonna be really 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 really, really good so um the ve the the veggies i'm not gonna put carrots or anything like that um, because I ain't got none. Or peas because I ain't got none. So, we just gonna do the cauliflower fried rice and that could, you know, be the vegetables and the rice, but yeah. Um, and I'm gonna fry an egg to put in there. So, my cauliflower fried rice is the bomb. Like, I'm not even trying to toot my own horn, but it's, it's that, it's that good. So, um, I'm going to show y'all how I make it and you could try it too. Highly recommend that you try it. Anything plaka plaka. I don't like plaka plaka rice. Like when I, when I mean plaka plaka, like softy and mushy. Like no. So I don't like plaka plaka rice. I don't like plaka plaka um, like vegetables. I don't like it to be like super soft and uh, like I like it to be crunchy and a little hard. So whenever I make my cauliflower fried rice, it's always it has a nice cute little crunch to it. So. I'm gonna bring the pot. Um, you don't need to really see my head. I'm just gonna bring it up like this. So, what I do is, the trick that I do, I've learned also that if I make more than two, okay, I can make like a whole bunch, like five bags, 10 bags or whatever, but the pot has to be like extremely Big, so everything has a chance to cook and stuff like that if it's small and if it's a small pot and I put like three cauliflower bags inside of it it's gonna come out mushy because it's it, it's it doesn't have the pot isn't giving it enough space to like you know aerate and just get all that the goodness in it so it can be crunchy so it's gonna come out kind of plaka plaka and I learned that with with trial and error so anyways, if it's a small pot, um, like this size or a little bigger, um, I can do two at a time and it'll still come out crunchy. So what I do is, I don't, some bags will tell you to add water in your cauliflower fried rice and um, boil it until it's ready. Do not, don't do that don't do that especially if you feel like you're gonna make some and invite me over to eat it i'm not gonna eat it okay so don't do that because when it comes 
it's already frozen, right? So that means it's water in there already. So if you put extra water on top of frozen stuff that when you put it on the pot, it's gonna defrost, it's gonna get placa placa, right? We don't want placa placa, right? Soft and mushy. Soft and mushy. I'm Jamaican, so I'm sorry. So, um, you don't want it soft and mushy, placa placa. So I put it in the pot just like that, just like that. I put it on medium, medium heat or just a little bit above medium heat and I just let it do its thing. Um, when it's doing that, when you put it on the stove, it's, it's drying out the water. It's drying out that excess water. And if you look at the pot and you realize like it's too much water, you can actually take it off the stove and drain some and then put it on the pot, put it back on the stove and let it dry out. So then your food won't be mushy or placa placa. Now you can, everybody have their own preference. And if that's your preference, that's your preference, but it ain't mine. And don't feel like you're gonna cook that for me cause I'm not gonna eat it. But yes, and um, I'm gonna show you after it dries out everything, what it looks like. Medium heat. I mean, you can, you can even put it on high heat, you can if you want, but you just gotta keep on watching it because if it's on high, high, high heat, that means it is going to, it's easier to burn if you don't watch it constantly. It, it'll, it'll, it'll burn and you don't, you don't, I mean, the burn is not, it's not that bad. It'd give it a little twang, but not like burnt crispy. Burnt crispy, then you'd be like, oh, it's a nasty taste, but like that, um, like that seared, if it's seared, then yes, it's, it's tastes real cute, but yes. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to move on to my bison, right? It's gonna be the first time I'm gonna have it, but I'm sure it's gonna be great. Um, this is like the only meat, I don't like every meat, I cook, whether it's steak, chicken, fish, um, anything, any, any, any poultry, shrimp, anything, oxtail, curry goat, I mean goat, anything. I always either wash it with vinegar and water or lemon, um, cut up lemon or lime slices with water and let it sit and like, you know, this is the only meat that I do not, like you can't clean. This is the only meat because it'll just disintegrate. Like, yeah, it'll just disintegrate. This is like the only thing. But I'm still on the prowl looking to see how I can clean it because yeah, this is the only meat. But anyways, oh my God. So let me tell y'all. When it comes to this kind of meat, cause it's ground, whether it's this ground beef, um, you don't need to put oil in the goddamn pot, okay? I don't care what nobody says. Like, you don't need to put oil in the pot because you know why? It already has its own goddamn oil. Now, I'm gonna see if this is the same consistency as ground beef because ground beef has its own oil and you don't need to put oil in the pot. So I'm gonna see if it's the same thing. I'm still not gonna put any oil in the pot, but I'm gonna see like how it, how it cooks. But you don't need to put oil in the pot because what's gonna happen is it, it makes its own oil, plus while it's cooking, it's um, releasing water as well. So like, I don't, under, I don't know what's wrong with y'all. What's wrong? What is the matter with you guys? Stop putting oil in the goddamn pot. Like, it's not necessary, it's not. And y'all be pissing me off when y'all do that. Okay, smells good. Yes, I smell everything, every, everything. I smell everything. So, I normally let my pot heat up so that when I put it 
put the food or whatever seasonings or anything like that it just has a nice sizzle so you hear it that's the cauliflower fried rice Luckily, when he got this one, he did not, um, I didn't put it in the freezer or anything like that. So it's like, it's not like frozen with a bunch of ice. So it's cooking pretty fast, which is good. And it's barely any water inside of it. So that's great. So what happened, when it's barely any water inside of it, you can turn the pot down a little lower if you'd like. And just let it cook off a little bit and what you can do as well if you want to if you you know you want it to be nice and um crunchy like myself you can just taste a little bit at a time like okay it's still a little cold this is the consistency that i like this is the consistency i'm going with so taste it small portions at a time not too much because i don't want by the time you finish cooking ain't nothing in the pot but Taste it a little bit at a time um, so that you you can um, judge your consistency. Like, okay, it's crunchy, it's good enough for me, or I want it a little softer, whatever, like that, okay? So these pots heat up pretty, pretty fast. Just about done. So I'm gonna add the bison. Am I the only one that loves to hear the sizzle, like, ugh, so good. It's so good. Mm -mm. You get everything out your packet, cause we're not wasting any money. Get all of your monies out this packet, okay? And just like that, that's everything. Okay, so before I let you know if it has the same consistency as um, ground beef, I'm going to cook it some more and then I can give you the verdict. Oh, and another thing. Because I've read like where it's debates about like, you know, why um, putting the oil in a pot if you have ground beef or whatever. And sometimes I see comments where people are like, oh no, we put it in there because we don't want the pot, the, the meat to stick to the pot. Okay. But you have a non-stick pot that you're cooking with, so. Why would it stick? Why would it stick? You know what I'm saying? And if that's the case, and you you're just, basically looking for something to be slippery. You just want it to be slippery. You don't like want to overdo it. They oversaturate the goddamn pot. Like if you if you're trying to have just something slippery just so it can glide back and forth without being sticky, this like you just need like this much about the oil. Like that much that much like why what like why would you put so much oil in the pot still and make it worse if it's like a non-stick pot you know like i don't get these type of things bother me my, my wig is moving yeah these type of things like bother me okay i'm just you know whatever what if? So I'm gonna move you so you can see, hopefully when I put this back, I'm still in the right position. But yes, it does have the same consistency. So there's no oil in the pot, as you can see. None whatsoever. And it did good. And this is the cauliflower. You see what I mean? Like, it'll just get a nice little sear. Right there. Like, it's not burnt. Nice little sear. Get a little 
pizzazz. But yeah. So we're on the right track. Okay, so I'm gonna take a really small, tiny piece of um, bison just to see if it's the same taste as the ground beef. Doesn't taste bad. I like it. It breaks away faster though than ground beef, I think. And it tastes a little bit livery. Yeah, it tastes like liver. But I like liver, so. But it tastes good though. Like if, if you don't have, like you won't, like if you have ground, um, if you had gotten this instead of ground beef and you really love ground beef, you're not gonna be upset if you got that. Okay. So my cauliflower rice is at the crunch that I really, really like. So what I do now is turn the pot really, really low because if it's still high, I don't want it to continue to cook and then turn into pot flour. So I take this time now to put my seasonings in. So I put my wet seasoning in, seasonings in. Um, I don't like, if I can see it, I won't eat it. Like I don't like bell peppers, I don't like um like onions and scallion and all that stuff like i really don't like it like i can probably eat it in certain things if i can't really see it but i do like the taste that it gives the food the taste and the flavor that it gives the food so what i do to combat that is i have scallion thyme um a little bit of ginger, tomato, pepper, like hot pepper, um, scallion thyme, hot pepper, tomatoes, garlic, onion, like all my favorite type of seasonings, wet seasonings, I just um, blend it up so that when it's time to cook, I just whoop, put a dollop in the pot or however much you'd like. And it's super easy for me, super convenient, and yeah it's no mess no stress right so i put my wet seasoning put some wet seasoning in there and then i add my dry seasoning you can use whatever dry seasonings you want to use you can use whatever wet seasonings you want to use it's entirely up to you so i'll be back okay so now my rice is done seasoning and it looks yellow like that because I put, I don't know how you guys pronounce it, if it's turmeric or turmeric, whatever. Um, and then the last thing I add is some butter. Let me just turn it down low while the butter melts. And then once the butter is melted, we are finito. So I'm gonna turn the stove off because I don't want it to cook anymore. And then I'm gonna finish dealing with my my um, ground meat. So it's the, the same thing applies for my ground meat. Wet seasonings, dry seasonings, same, same exact um, operation. And then I'm just gonna combine the two with also the egg, so I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back, and this is it. It's already nice and seasoned here, and I just add my eggs, a little bit of oil, give me oil, butter, and it doesn't matter if it gets a little bit in here because it's, it's just a little bit. And you can actually, normally I do add just a little bit of butter because I feel like to this after I season it and everything, like right when it's almost done because it gives it a little oomph. So you can add either butter or like coconut um, oil because it gives it like a nice, a really nice taste. But don't overdo it. 
some of y'all be. I don't know. And yes, it doesn't matter if the meat gets into it because everything is going to be combined anyway. You can choose to season up your eggs if you want to. It's not a requirement because everything, the meat is already seasoned plus the um, cauliflower rice is already seasoned. So it's not something that's totally necessary. But it's entirely up to you. Now I'm not saying don't season your eggs in general. What I'm saying is don't, you don't have to do it right now because everything is seasoned. But when you make your regular eggs, season them. Season them. Okay? Season them. So far, so good. I'll be back. Okay. So now, and if you want, I use this ketchup here. Super good, sugar free, especially if you're on keto. Super good. I'm gonna make the plate and then I'll be back with the finished product. Okay, so I'm done cooking and this is it right here. How good my cauliflower fried rice is. I just got a message, right? From my neighbor, right? So, um, last week, I think it was last week. Last week we had Friendsgiving. It was last week we had Friendsgiving, right, babe? Last week was Friendsgiving, right? Huh? Here, no, you don't. But I think it was last week. And I made pepper shrimp. And I made um, stew chicken. But for me and daddy, since we're both on a diet, doing keto, we weren't gonna eat the rice. So I'm, I specifically made rice just for us. But my neighbors came over and we were hanging out for a bit but um, the food wasn't finished when they ended up leaving because we had to get start getting ready and stuff anyways they had my cauliflower rice and she literally just texted me because when the food was finished I sent um, sent them down some stew chicken and cauliflower rice or whatever and Okay, 909, she was telling me like she wanna come drop off the top, Tupperware and stuff like that. Look, look at that. If it doesn't um, focus, I'm gonna put a, a picture of it. I told y'all, I'm not lying. I'm not lying, like I'm not lying. My Cauliflower rice is bomb at AF. I'm telling you, it's bomb AF. Bomb AF. No lie, no joke. This is what it is. Mm. Like, honestly, I just say it's so good. Babe, come try this. He is 100% honest. If he doesn't like something, he's gonna tell me. He's gonna 100% tell me.
Oh, and La Croix. Oof, this is a tangerine flavor. Super good, super, super good. Um, whenever I drink it out the can, make sure you wash off the top. Always wash off the top, child. But normally I pour it in a glass so I could feel like, hmm. But I was hungry. But and don't get on me for eating with a spoon. Okay. The one thing I'm gonna do is eat with a spoon. Unless I'm out, you know, fancy restaurant or something. But if I'm home, spoon it is. Come on. Spoon it is because it grips everything. Wait, I want them to see your reaction before you think it. Do I want them to see my reaction? Okay, you can stand up. They're not gonna oh, see, no. just eat it. You're annoying. I know. It's good though. You like it? Mm -hmm. You want some? Mm -hmm. The bison tastes good, right? Right, it does. You want a little bowl? You want a little bowl? Yeah, we need a little bowl. This small one, okay. Hold on. I'm telling you. Try my recipe. Try my recipe. I highly recommend it. Anyways. That's it for today. As you can see, I'm tired. Like, I'm getting, like my body is starting to slowly say, all right, you need to like go relax now. But yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, hopefully you enjoy my little regular regular life and you come back for more and you become a part of the Chevy Blossoms family. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Mm -hmm. Love y'all.